Well, hello YouTube. It's been a while since I made a video, I know. But, this is what I've been working on lately. Well, I want to recondition a couple of batteries. So, I'm starting with the simplest thing I could find on the internet. Which is the uh, SSG Bedini border. Uh, I... Uh, looked all over the place actually a couple of years ago I was uh, introduced to it by uh, silent debt 002 and uh, but I just uh, never had time to work on it and so this spring I decided or this winter I decided to work on it now when it comes to electronic if you show me something like this here with all those little diagrams diagrams and uh, those little C's, B, the little arrows and uh, just as well show me Chinese I got no idea what it is what it does and what it uh, how I do even work with it so I uh, got lucky and I found uh, well, uh, silent debt show me this here which is uh, the uh, death man diagram which works great mm, sorry bad you went dead on me so yes as I was saying for somebody like me who doesn't understand electronics one little bit uh, the this uh, drawing was a life server for me easy to understand and if you look at the Daphne video, I mean, he shows how to uh, wire that very, very easy. And the parts are easy to uh, find on the internet. Now, this is what I built. I know the lights are, I'm in my basement and the lights are is not great, but... This is very crude with the coil and uh, I got a, I got this wheel which is about uh, 12 inches with uh, 1 inch by half inch by 2 inch uh, magnet, regular magnets, uh, ceramic magnets I believe and it works great for me. To now, now, what I liked about this uh, is that I'm move around. Let me try to put more lights on the subject here. Here we go. Now I got more lights. Uh, I got a couple of batteries here that I want to recondition. Uh, let me hook this small one here. It's uh, it's showing me that oh the glare is going to be killing. Let me see now uh, if I'm able to. It shows me that it's at two point two point ninety five volts. Okay, now let me wire. Okay, this goes there, this goes there. So right now I got this battery connected. What I liked about the the motor is that what the setup is that let me see now right here. Here's that little light there that uh, if you disconnect the uh, the charging battery that comes on that saves your your uh, your chip okay something is not connected oh yeah I'm not connected so that I forgot that I was not connected to my power supply okay now What's well, the nice thing that if you play around, look, 
it tells you that the battery is not good. As soon as you so when this little light lights up, it means that your uh, charging battery is not working. It's not connected, so there's something wrong with that battery. So that's how I test my batteries now. See if they're good or not. So reconnect that to the other one. So this battery is going to the garbage. Uh, this battery stands at let me bring that closer 7.30 31 and let me bring you back here now a lot of people says that you need a lot of uh, oh yes I got this little uh, thing here that meter that I bought it gives me the power of the battery and the amperage use. I'm going to try to get that in the in width. And a lot of people see that you need a you need to give this a hell of a turn to start it up. Well. Here we go. I'm starting so I guess I got lucky and as you can see in the right hand corner of the video there it uh, as the wheel turn faster the amps go up And by turning the variable uh, resistor, I'll bring the amps up. That's point 25 amps. It makes the wheel go faster. And if I play around with the uh, with the variable resistor a little bit, the wheel will vibrate. Will go faster and. And I don't know if you hear it, but the uh, coil is starting to vibrate. And my battery is going. Power going to my battery. Now, this, from my understanding, this battery was very, very sulfated, from my understanding of, which is not much, actually. So uh, it will take a while for that battery to go back up to speed. Now this makes a lot of noise. So that's going to be moved outside in my gazebo with a solar panel to keep the battery charge up, the running battery. And I'm going to be trying to recover, re, re, uh, refurbish that small battery that's for my four-wheeler now for my bigger batteries my on my solar system I'm hoping to find the uh, solid-state uh, desulfator uh, that I'm hoping to find a schematic for it from uh, the one that's uh, silent dead 002 made so that uh, I like that one and as you can see right now I'm using that's the uh, milliamp that I'm using and I cranked up the variable uh, resistor all the way which gives a boost to, the, to my little wheel and if I turn down slowly 
I'm sure you can hear the wheel starting to go faster. I try to keep it between uh, 20 and 25. And my wheel is going a lot faster. Uh, this is the first one I make. Which is... Uh, really professional hey I'm like I said I don't understand much in electronics but this is the second one that I made I uh, use some uh, plexiglass and uh, made a smaller version is I got the uh, I got the ammeter the uh, amperage use and I'm using uh, another wheel that I acrylic wheel that I made with the uh, UD minus it works and it's a lot less noisier noisy it makes a lot less noise than the other one the only thing that you hear is the hum from the uh, from the coil so that's what I've been doing lately. Uh, Benini motor for dummy, I would call it. Thanks to uh, this little drawing here, made by the Daffman. I'm able to work in electronic, even if I don't understand a single thing about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any comment or uh, suggestion, uh, leave it below and a thumbs up if you have time. Thank you.